do it. Linda, who's the best fitness influencer? Who's your favorite? What about her? 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 Guys, chill. Don't worry. I got you. We have seven of my most favorite and what I believe to be the most popular fitness girlies here on YouTube. We're gonna be rating the difficulty level on Linda's scale of difficulty. We're going to be comparing my likes and dislikes on Linda's scale of enjoyability. And we're gonna be rating the deliciousness or not so deliciousness of their meals on Linda's scale of tastiness. Keep in mind, everyone is different for different workouts, different foods. We have differing fitness levels and therefore we have different opinions. Let's talk about me for a second. I've been doing YouTube videos as workouts since I was 11 and I've been working out consistently for the past like five years so I'd say I'm pretty strong and I love high intensity like if I'm gonna work out it better burn it's like kill me or just don't even try you know so I just want to say that I have so much respect for each and every one of these women they have changed and inspired millions of people's lives including myself so please don't think I'm attacking anyone my favorite lady maybe your least favorite lady but we're all good here you know that's fine we are all different and that is a beautiful thing okay all right then let the battles begin Going in alphabetical order, we are starting off with Miss Blogilates. Cassie has been on YouTube for a hot minute. She was actually the first YouTube workout I actually ever followed back when I was 11, so I've seen Cassie evolve into who she is today. Her workouts consisted of a fusion between Pilates and HIT all mixed together with some fun hip dance music and her energetic and positive personality. She creates monthly workout calendars that I literally used to follow religiously. Like if I missed a day, I would literally do 10 workouts the next day. Today, we picked a random day on her calendar and it happened to be booty day. But every day she targets a different part of the body, which is super helpful. Honestly, she just has a conversation with you while working out. It's really like working out with a friend. Do you see this? This is one video. I'm literally sliding. Her workouts are fun, equipment free, and a lot of them are quiet, which is amazing if you live in an apartment or are working out while your whole family is asleep, like mine. A silent Pilates death. And because Cassie has been doing this forever, she has like a bajillion videos to choose from and there's something for everyone, beginner to intermediate. I actually dare you guys to do one of her arm workouts. I've done them all and they burn like crazy. For difficulty level, I give it a six because I sweated a what? lot, but I could still breathe. And I think it was mainly because I added my own weights and resistance. And for enjoyability, I give it an eight because she's super fun and has a really charismatic personality. So overall, I think I'm gonna give Cassie a 7.5. Honestly, the first thing I did was look through all these girls what I eat in a day, hoping I'd find pancakes, and luckily I did. These are Cassie's infamous protein pancakes, but are they more delicious than mine? We shall see. Sad there is no peanut butter, but it'll do. Pretty good. Protein powder is strong though. So if I'm gonna be honest, not as tasty as mine, and also not as filling, but probably much higher in protein and more nutrient dense. But I was hungry again in about 30 minutes, so we had lunch. This was actually amazing. It looks so good. I'm so excited. I did add a lot more chicken and sweet potatoes because I was freaking starving, but it was delicious. It's actually freaking delicious. This is stress eating. Yeah, I subbed the berries with some donuts. It had to be done. How did it go? Hmm. pick up the phone just to say what is up. Chicken looks so good. Oh, there's a lot of juices. Ooh, look at chicken. This dinner was just not pleasant. Forgive me, cauliflower rice lovers. I don't understand. I like close my eyes and pretend it's rice. It's still not rice. Although dinner was unfortunate, I was very excited for dessert. So I'm gonna give today overall a six for tastiness. I was lacking peanut butter at breakfast. Lunch was freaking good, but dinner just insulted my taste buds. Prepping was really quick and simple, good for a busy life. At the end of the day, I was just really hungry. And at night, I kind of just raided my pantry because I was so hungry. Just remember, every body is different and what she needs and what I need to stay full is very, very different, as you can tell. <laughs> It's time for Chloe Ting. Let's do it. This one is her do this every day to lose weight. Love that title. Chloe is slaying the world right now with her workouts. She has created so many free workout guides that literally has changed the face of workout challenges, at-home workouts, and quarantine glow-ups. But to be brutally honest, I'm so sorry. I'm not the biggest fan. Ah, don't kill me. I'm sorry. Her workouts may not repeat many moves, but each workout video is comprised of like basically the same moves. And because I've been working out for such a long time, I get bored quite easily. Easy. 
It's too easy. I love her setup and her progress bar during the video is awesome and she's so cute and I would definitely recommend her to any beginners because she also includes some beginner variations, but one person can only do so many up and down planks. But for enjoyability, I'm gonna give it a five because it's kind of just basic moves and she doesn't really talk much. But the music isn't super my vibe either. Personally, I like it when the instructor is screaming at you. So yeah, I was just kind of bored. I'm sorry. Difficulty, I'm gonna give it a 6.5 because personally, I just don't feel like I'm being challenged. Without the weights, I don't even think I would have broken a sweat. Doing them consecutively is much more challenging, but I just find not super time efficient. Honestly, I've never been a fan of Chloe. Um, <gasps> she's great, but like they're great for beginners, but for me, like it's just, I feel like it's just a waste of time. Am I allowed to say that? I feel like that's really mean. So overall, I'm giving Chloe a 6.5. Anyways, I was really excited for breakfast because Cassie made me hungry yesterday and Chloe really eats, which I love because you know, I love to eat more than anyone. Also, she likes peanut butter, so I might as well just rate her a 10 and get on with the next girl, but yeah, this was really delicious and filling. I love you, Chloe. Thank you so much. So good! It was so good! Because I got a late start to the day, lunch and dinner was combined, but I was so excited to make dinner because she literally eats like the same thing I eat on a typical Linda day. All the meals were pretty easy to make. Oatmeal was fast. I mean, I didn't have enough time to prepare a full salmon for lunch. I don't know if many people have that time, but they're super yummy. That was very hot. For tastiness, I'm gonna give Chloe a nine because everything was so flavorful, filling, and I love the peanut butter at breakfast, love the veggie plate that's coming up, and I love the shrimps. It was delicious. That was Chloe's shrimp. Mm. 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 Oh, I really bad. Some salmon, avo. What do you rate Chloe's shrimp? <laughs> that's high. That's high. You'll never rate things that high. Good job, Chloe. They are very delicious. Oh, wow. Close enough to Jello. Very close. Mm. Chloe eats chocolate, so I eat chocolate. Okay, this may be a little biased because I'm the biggest Lily Sabri fan in the entire world. I've done her workouts literally every single day of quarantine and I feel empty without her. She just radiates this amazing energy in all of her videos. And the first time I did her video, I was hooked and I've never felt stronger and fitter in my life. And I can say confidently her workouts are hard, but she does have beginner variations, which is great. She has workout plans she posts every single week and they are amazing and challenging and her music is a vibe and will definitely get you hyped up. If you really want a good sweat, go for Lily. Equipment is always optional, but I feel like it just takes the workout to another level. She has unique moves and what I love is that she doesn't show you the next move and I feel like that really helps me just focus on pushing myself instead of stressing about the next move coming up. Her longer videos that are 30 to 40 minutes are harder but I'm telling you they freaking work. Ugh. This is why Lily is the hardest. After these longer workouts, she always includes finisher workouts that are easier, much more chill, great for beginners, typically don't need any equipment at all. So for enjoyability, I'm giving Lily a 10 because I love her. Difficulty really depends on the workout, but I'm gonna give her a solid nine. That's why I love Lily. And overall, a 9.5 for my favorite girl, Lily. Okay, so we're making Lily's granola. Pumpkin seeds and nuts. Okay, some huge knife. We're just gonna do nuts. Nuts. You don't have any of that. Probably... Okay, protein powder? Oh dear, I'm very nervous. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I definitely just put too much. Pour it on top. She didn't add peanut butter, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. Okay, it looks like granola. Okay, I need to stop eating it. In the oven she goes. The granola is done. Smells like protein powder. She eats healthy, but I know she eats a lot because I follow her on Insta and she's always munching on these amazing foods. And although I was concerned about the protein powder in the granola, the yogurt bowl did not disappoint. Oh, Lily eats kale chips, but we don't have kale chips. I'm gonna eat these instead. She also has a banana. Lunch is served. So lunch just wasn't lunch, but she just posted a new what I eat in a day and she eats way more than this. So I think I just chose the wrong video. My bad. So dinner tonight was salmon and kale. 
I forgot this little piece of salmon. And I've actually never ever had kale before, so I whipped up a kale salad and it's literally my new obsession. I could eat it every single day. It was amazing. Mm. Kale is good. Mm. Get some nuts in there. Mm. This is a vibe. Brother, try the kale salad. The salad paired with like the nuttiness of the nuts is really good. The nuttiness of the nuts? Hold on there. The vocabulary. <laughs> So for tastiness, I'm gonna give it an eight. I was concerned because she eats really healthy, but honestly, the kale was so good it won me over. Like, why have I never had it before? It was so beautiful. For fullness, I don't think I was full. Like, I really just didn't have lunch, but that one was on me. That may have been enough food for Lily, but I was still hungry. Everyone needs different amounts of food to feel satisfied. It doesn't matter if you're more active or taller or shorter or this or that. If you're hungry, satisfy those signals. There's no point in restricting yourself to the amount of food that someone else eats. And even though I'm trying out these girls' recipes, I am eating to the portions that satisfy me and adding my own snacks onto the meals to listen to my cravings. For me, what I eat in a days are for inspiration, not for comparisons. I always remind myself that just because I eat like them or work out like them doesn't mean I'm gonna look like them. Don't let other people's progress or appearance make you feel any lesser because you should be proud of everything you are. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Maddie Day. Looking like it's gonna be a problem. I have done a ton of Maddie's workouts in the past, but honestly for me right now, I'm not a fan anymore of the slower pace of the workouts and the music really isn't my jam and it's also very quiet. And I feel like the moves are just a little too basic for me now, but this is a workout that I love to do when I was just starting to work out. She's very good at explaining the technique and her voice is almost soothing, but I'm like over here trying to be aggressive and sweat a lot. So it doesn't really go hand in hand. Quick and easy, not sweaty. Pretty good though. I even feel like the cardio was slow. Like, I don't even know how that's possible. She really focuses in on the technique and feeling the slow contractions and movements of our muscles, which is just not my vibe. <laughs> but she does have a huge selection of workouts and later on we will be trying a fun dance workout video. Be excited for that. Difficulty, I'm gonna give it a five. I was sweating more because it was just hot outside, not because of the workout. Easy. Sweating though. Next workout. And for enjoyability, I'm also gonna give it a five. I mean, she seems really kind and really thoroughly explains the workout, but as someone who has done these moves a thousand times, although it can be a nice reminder, it gets a little bit repetitive. However, I really did enjoy this Billie Eilish song challenge and it was super fun and super creative. So I'm gonna raise the enjoyability to a seven. <laughs> so overall, Maddie gets a 6.5. Solid. Ready to eat. Okay guys, Maddie eats very nutrient dense, very vegan, very health conscious. Basically a very wholesome diet that's literally the opposite of my diet. So we started off with our oatmeal, so which he sweetens with half a banana. And I literally just dumped the whole cinnamon container into the oatmeal, but that's okay. I'd have to say it was pretty bland, but man, was it filling. Unfortunately, there's no peanut butter. Really good. Be better peanut butter. All the details start to sink in. These and I can't even eat them. How good is it on a scale of 1 to 10? A 10. You never gave any of my vegan things a 10! Are you torturing me like this? Jesus. Daddy, why don't you eat like this? Okay, yeah, so she has a watermelon and protein smoothie for lunch. Um. Mm. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I'm just not strong enough to resist. Just one bite. Mm. One more bite. Now back to eating watermelon. I also didn't have like half the ingredients for the smoothie, but you know, you just can't have everything in life. So we went with it and you'll see what I think about the smoothie in a second. Yep. <laughs> Ew, this is gross. It's disgusting. Sorry. Bad. Must drink. It like would be good if I didn't put the protein powder in. Mm. That's acceptable. For those of you who drink protein smoothies, good for you. I don't know how you do it. And then it was time for our family Maddie workout. Please prepare your eyes. Oh, <laughs> 
the best one. Oh dear, slightly inappropriate. Now that you guys know I can't dance, I was really excited for dinner. I've never had roasted chickpeas before because I just never craved a roasted chickpea, but mixed with some sweet potato and veggies, I have to say it was quite fantastic and very filling. Like, I was stuffed. Mm. Mm. Salad is actually underrated. So I gotta give it a five because although dinner blew me away, the smoothie really ruined it for me. Natasha, the queen of high intensity interval training. She has the most killer HIIT workouts ever. And if you don't have much time in the day to work out, which is me during school, I would just do Natasha's workouts for 20 minutes a day and I literally would sweat so much. She has the most unique moves and although I hate repetition because it's only three to four rounds, 30 seconds on and off, it's honestly not that bad and you can just jam out to your own music. All my moves planned, fuck your trips to the islands. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I can't feel my legs. Her workouts are definitely more for advanced and intermediate fitness levels. However, I do think she has multiple different guides for different levels of fitness, and some of her workouts can be modified, but if my mom were to do this, I think she would break something. Uh, holy, I was literally like 15 minutes. Like, I can't even see, it's just sweat. Natasha has a bajillion workouts on her Instagram to choose from. Like literally, I had trouble picking which one to do, but I promise you, no matter which one you choose, you will die. So that's why I'm giving the difficulty level a 9.5. And my only complaint is that it's hard to go back and forth between my Instagram, my music app, my timer app because you need a timer so that kind of pisses me off but overall I love killing myself so I'm gonna give it an 8.5 for enjoyability. I used to do Natasha's workouts a lot before I found Lily and now I remember why. Literally like 15-20 minutes and you're just drenched. I'm gonna shower because this. Natasha gets a 9. Okay, yay, finally an excuse to make my banana protein pancakes again, thank god. So Natasha is the queen of hit, but also the queen of intuitive eating. Natasha is probably one of my favorite YouTubers because she inspires me in every aspect of my life. She's well-spoken, intelligent, strong, confident, has taught me to care for my body through nourishing it and moving my body for my health. So Natasha had this thing being like food, so my mom made a bean, and we also created her an Asian chicken salad, which was surprisingly very good. Mmm, shit, that's good. Holy shit. I think restaurant level. And for dinner, she had tacos, which made me so happy and so full. So for tastiness, I have nothing to complain about. We're giving it a solid nine. Although her meals may take longer to make, I love how much variety she shows in her What I Eat videos, and she's not afraid to eat what she craves. It's like a fat taco shop. Not cheating. Chicken is like missing something. Some salt. Yeah. Watermelon time. Very close. Natasha is very open about her intuitive eating and promotes listening to our body's cravings. And honestly, she's taught me what I know and inspires me to live life with a healthier mindset. She works out to be strong. She feeds herself not only for fuel but for enjoyment because how I see it, we should eat what makes us feel happy and what keeps our bodies happy too. Thank you, Natasha, for drenching my body in sweat and allowing me to feed my body what it craves. Pamela Day. This honestly gives me unpleasant flashbacks from doing her ab workout 28 times, but today we weren't doing abs, we were doing butt and cardio. So Pamela's workouts are varying in difficulty. She has videos targeting beginners and advanced individuals, and her style is very no talking, just watch me gracefully do these workouts while you struggle while listening to some really awesome pop music. Her videos have no breaks, which is what really, really increases the intensity of her workouts. She also shows you what workout is coming up next, so you can mentally prepare yourself for the next 30 seconds of pain. In my opinion, I think her cardio workouts are not too difficult, like they're totally manageable, but her butt workouts and ab workouts Workouts absolutely kill. And they kill even more if you add resistance and weights. Not too hard, pretty straightforward. Okay, so this workout is like her booty activation, and no, it's not activation. It's harder than the actual workout. The pulses and the holding and the resistance is aggressive, but you know, that's what we like. Oh. <sighs> she also makes weekly workout routines based on your fitness level, and they're challenging, and unlike Chloe, you aren't repeating the same four workouts every day. And she also has really cool dance workouts, but I did one with my family and I lost the footage, so lucky for you guys, you don't have to watch me dance again. Milo, this is 
inappropriate, unacceptable behavior. So overall for difficulty, I think I'm gonna give it like an eight because her butt workout is hard, but her six pack ab workout is definitely a 10. Enjoyability, I'm gonna give it an eight as well because I like the no break. It keeps me on my toes and the music is a bop. I really like it. One, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, that was hard. That was hard, okay. When they have an Instagram dedicated to food, you know it's gonna be a delicious day. Her food Insta has so many beautiful options, but some of them weren't in English, so I just observed and attempted to recreate. I made this oatmeal for breakfast and like, yes, girl, peanut butter, jam, berries. Oh, I could not be more grateful. This was literally so good. Mm. I saw a lot of salads, more salads, and more salads. So we made a salad, and I think I'm officially addicted to salad now. Not kidding. It was so, so, so delicious. Like Mmm. 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 Oh, I'm wearing this backwards. The salad is like my new obsession. Mmm. 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 When fuck around, see my eyes got money bags. I don't rest. So for dinner, we revamped one of her protein bowls with tofu, veggies, and peanut sauce. And this recipe is for my vegan video, and I literally had it every single week since. I literally crave it. So for today, the tastiness, I, I'm gonna give it a 9.9. .9. I actually loved it. I can't say it's better than my protein pancakes, but it's definitely on the same level. And I didn't think salad could fill me up, but I don't know. Pamela Day was a magical day. Oh, mm, I, it's my favorite thing I've ever eaten. The last and final day was dedicated to Whitney, who also eats pancakes, so we automatically love her, okay? She is someone I've been following for years, and I actually do all of her workouts because she has so many amazing Instagram videos for going to the gym and using weights. I've missed you, pancakes. If I'm ever going to the gym, 90% of the time, I will be doing Whitney's workouts. I highly recommend checking her out if your gyms are open. And she also eats popcorners, so are we the same person? I think yes. You're beautiful just the way you are. <laughs> So I've never done her at-home workouts before, but just to go along with the theme of this video, we're gonna try two of them out. And to be honest, they were a little bit too easy for me, but I think that's because they were targeted more towards beginners. But if you are a beginner, I think this will be perfect for you. So I'm gonna have to give the difficulty like a three out of 10. Very easy, I can still breathe, not sweating. Not only do I love her because she makes amazing workout routines, she's just a ray of happiness in this world. She's so positive, makes me feel beautiful and smile. And after watching her videos, you just feel better about yourself. She inspires me endlessly with her energy and body positivity a beautiful person inside and out. Sweating now. I didn't take any rest. Went from one workout to the other. That worked. So Whitney also has granola yogurt bowls and that's also my go-to. So yeah, the similarity is freaking me out a little bit right now. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Oh my god, the strawberries are so good. So for Din Din, she made something called French onion chicken and I'm always trying to spruce up my chicken creation. So I was very excited and the turnout was so freaking good. I'm giving her a 9.5. This girl is me. We basically eat the same thing and I love her. Realist portion sizes, feeling amazing, allows herself to eat the food that she loves and she eats popcorners. That's all I'm gonna say. Mmm. Mm. What do we rate the chicken? 9.5. Oh, that's higher. What do you rate it, ma'am? 9.93? What do you rate the chicken? 10. What do you rate the chicken? What do you rate the chicken? You always say 10. And she eats ice cream, everyone. Round of applause for Whitney. And the highest overall score goes to Lily. In my opinion, Natasha and Lily are pretty tied for first. They both check off all the boxes, extreme pain, sweating aggressively, and can't breathe. But I think it's important to remember that you can make any of these workouts more challenging by just adding weights, more reps, and just giving it your all. And same goes for if you wanna make these workouts easier. You guys probably already saw this coming, but Lily is my go-to girl. I love how she screams at me and pushes me to kill myself harder. And I love how her personality really shows through during her workouts. And her moves are not boring and basic. She also has a freaking cute dog. 
I was not expecting this, but surprisingly, I enjoyed Pamela's meals the most. I think they tasted amazing, super fresh, didn't know I could like salad that much, and there was a ton of peanut butter. To sum it all up, all these women lead different lifestyles, they eat differently, work out differently, and look different, but they're all healthy and happy in their own way. Kind of just like all of us. And I think that is what we really need to focus on. It's not who's better, who's more ripped, who's the better influencer. They're all amazing, strong, inspiring women who are actual beasts and like slay life. So I totally recommend trying all of their workouts and comment down below who is your fave at this moment. And I wish you guys all the best on your sweating adventures. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye bye. Let's do one more, let's do one more. Let's do the finishing. We're not quitters. <laughs> you have to